Hello, I'm Joanne Turner reporting from IP Expo and I'm here for Telecom's Talk and I'm talking to Andrew Workkin from Blue Cat. Andrew, welcome. Perhaps you can start by telling some of our viewers a little bit about Blue Cat as a company. Uh, sure. Blue Cat is a enterprise DNS company. Uh, we're about a 15-year-old company uh, that, that has a great customer base of big, large, complex enterprises around the world. Very, very focused on, on making DNS a much more capable service within our customers. And what are some of the issues you're finding now within the industry for people who are deploying DNS? I, you know, as our customers are investing more and more in infrastructure that allows them to change and provision to meet their business requirements, uh, DNS and, and DNS that, that perhaps has been cobbled together over the years or not necessarily maintained in such a way where we can drive fast change to it becomes actually an impediment for implementing a lot of business strategy uh, because I can't quickly move workloads around or you know, a DNS infrastructure that, that isn't centrally managed. Oftentimes customers have problems driving automation requirements uh, to again, quickly provision and create new capabilities in the enterprise. Um, so it's, it's you know, the, the challenge though is also mixed with the fact that DNS is such a critical service inside the enterprise that our customers are oftentimes a bit concerned, worried about changing what they have today because of the ramifications of something not working. So, you know, we're very focused on meeting these big complex needs, but also ensuring that our customers can migrate and migrate confidently without loss of service, because usually the SLA is about 100% for DNS. Absolutely, and one of the biggest things is the security challenge. Yeah, and, and for sure, and, and for us security comes in two flavors. One is protecting the service and ensuring that DNS is up and running, whether there's a denial of service attack or, um, you know, vulnerabilities sort of inherent in DNS. We take a lot of pride in how we work uh, with our products and customers to ensure that we protect that service and make sure it's up. The other side of it is how DNS can be used to add to the security posture of the enterprise. And there's a whole variety of different ways to do that. Um, but whether it's through DNS tunneling or any other sort of exploit, um, you know, a lot of companies aren't necessarily 100% aware of uh, how DNS can be used to take control of, of local machines and really almost as you know, a botnet command to control. Um, and so you know, we're doing a lot of work on the analytics side as well with our customers to try to drive some really interesting solutions in that space. And you touched briefly on some of the, you know, you work with some of the big names, but what are some of the challenges you see coming out of some of those big enterprise customers that you're working with? Some of those challenges are, are similar to almost any other type of you know, software-defined infrastructure they, they might be deploying in that they can automate these changes and change stuff way more often, but they have a month-long change management process for deploying a new network, or you know, they only deploy changes to DNS every 24 hours, and now the business needs to do stuff immediately. Um, and what ends up happening, especially in, in private and public clouds, is the business doesn't wait and they deploy their own DNS service and they copy, either manually copy over zones that they care about or um, in other ways actually make the infrastructure even less stable and, and uh, potentially even hard code and, and uh, you know, avoid using DNS altogether. So you know, part of it's just the same as challenges moving to any world of rapid change and, and software defined infrastructure. Um, and others are, you know, DNS is, is rather complex and, you know, there's always a dependency on a few people that really understand the depths and bowels of DNS and so we really try to help our customers abstract themselves from having to understand, you know, exactly how the technology works, but rather make sure it's available for them uh, and, um, and we take on some of the burden of ensuring that it's optimized. Okay, and what's the future of DNS? What, what's next going to come out of DNS? I, we, we strongly believe that there's a tremendous amount of untapped value in DNS data. And by that I mean, you know, the, all of the query information we're seeing going through DNS, match that with what we do on the DHCP side and, and managing the network space in general. Um, and so, you know, from a how do we leverage this data to create visibility to what's happening in the enterprise is, uh, is a huge area for us. Um, you know, a lot of companies are, are taking the DNS log data, trying to bring it into Splunk, do, trying to do things with it. But, um, uh, you know, there aren't that many DNS experts in the world, and we've got a bunch of them, and we're doing some really interesting things, and it's actually fun to work with our customers on because of 
the sort of things we can explore and see, both on the security side, but on the employee engagement side, on the, you know, you sort of name it, and DNS is a fairly good proxy for what the user is intending to do, and, uh, and therefore makes it pretty powerful. Brilliant. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. Thank you. Good to meet you.